all our luggage is off. And our pilot said, good luck. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Maybe we're all staying. We got all. That's it, last of civilization, as we know it. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Steve, where are you? <laughs> Steve, help! Now what? Well, this is home away from home. <laughs> home away from home. The cabin with the bunkhouse behind. Yeah, and we got lots of stories that we're going to be told this week, and lots of fish, and we need to go get the fishing license now. Yeah, Steve's truck and trailer. Give you just a little pan around. The neighbor. Terry in his airplane. And the boat's off in the distance waiting for the next run. And back to Steve's cabin. Put the mural on the side. Four wheelers. Of course, most everything is flown in. This is a Pan Air flight from King Salmon. That's a flight that actually brought us into uh, Coffee Point here just a uh, couple days ago. And this is Bill's old truck. As you can see, it's a good old truck, but uh, kind of rusted out. He said the gas tank rusted out, so he found a uh, old fuel tank from a boat and uh, strapped it on the back. And <laughs> this one actually does have the doors and the floorboards. After they start going, the uh, floorboards kind of rust out, and uh, and then the body goes and the doors start falling off. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if the engine still works, they uh, they still run them. Run them till they don't run no more. Took the taxes away. They gave gave us a check. Looks like we're getting ready you for know. a shower. Had to sign it and give it to the state of Oregon. <laughs> you guys, they caught you anyway. <laughs> well, I couldn't Filling up the tank. <laughs> anyway. You know, in Alaska, you've been For probably a cold years. shower tonight. Yeah. Foreigners like you guys that don't pay these Alaska taxes, and they've been trying for years to, you know, at least they ought to get taxed. Oh, this is Paul and my bunkhouse. <laughs> right, thank you. Oh, hi, sorry. <laughs> no problem. This is where we're uh, going to be I, bunking I, tonight. 
I, I think I can see why they mix tang with the water. Oh, it's that bad? Well, you can't see the bottom of the cup. Oh, <laughs> it tastes a little bit like diesel fuel. Diesel fuel. I wonder why. There's a generator running right next door yeah. here. <laughs> yep, all the amenities of home. It has a shelf <laughs> and a mirror and uh, more shelves and oh, even even a window. Looking at the back of the of the uh, main house, <laughs> so to speak. So to speak. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have all of our gear for fishing tomorrow morning, bright and early. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go do it. Well, Steve's going to give us a tour of the house. Of course, it's the outside, uh, Bill's truck. Well, when we started fishing here in 1987, uh, my brother and his wife, uh, Phil and Arlene, uh, came out here with me, and we, uh, the three of us, set up a wall tent here where this part of the cabin is. <laughs> and uh, we spent a miserable summer with it rained every day the tent uh, leaked water on us and it was just a horrible experience but anyway the next summer phil built this cabin on top of the platform where the tent had been and then uh, we got uh, richer on our big income from our fishing business we added a room on the back and uh, built this shed bay in the back here with for a tool shed and I, well, it started out as a kind of a bunk house and then it evolved into a tool shed and, and then I built a wing on the left side for a bunk house and another little wing on the right for the uh, generator and then uh, I bought an old truck that I brought out here and I thought it needed to have a house so I built a lean-to on the south side there that later on I decided to have truck could sit outside, it'd be nicer to have room in, in the house, so I uh, ended up putting a floor in it after I'd already built it for a garage, and I had even had a garage door in the end of it here. <laughs> so I closed all that up and put a floor in it and turned it into the kitchen and uh, living room part, and this part became a bedroom and mudroom. I put a partition through the middle of this part here and cut new doors and rearranged the whole thing so it kind of came out as a nice little kind of a five bed a five room cabin <laughs> the pantry is quite large and it's eight by eight so it serves a uh, double duty as a, a bedroom when we have extra people out there so that's where bill uh everyone is sleeping this summer so well, let's go on in and, uh, okay so give us a grand tour One of the uh, our favorite rooms in the house, right? Here. This is the our modern <laughs> shower, and, and we have running hot and cold water. Hot and cold water. Hot and cold water, and um, shower in the corner. And here's the uh, switch uh, box for our generator. And these are the the uh, all the plumbing we put in to to uh, supply the sinks and and stuff. And the uh, the little pump that runs it all is over here in the in the corner and it all runs off a 12 volt system so we don't have to have the generator on to have a, a water in here so a little pressure tank a pressure tank, tank out the back mm -hmm. so we have a, a nice uh, shower that uh, people really appreciate <laughs> oh i sure do you know? every day yeah. so, <laughs> so then uh, out here this was the this was all one large <coughs> one large room out here this part, this is the main part of the cabin. I've put a wall through here and made this a mud room. Cut a hole through there, here into what was going to be my garage. <laughs> uh, this was uh, started out here. This room here was uh, uh, originally a bedroom, and there was a wall, a door through this wall here into that, into the bathroom. But hmm. uh, anyhow, I've 
we closed that up so we'd have a place to put our on-demand water heater here. And that is great. And I took a shower the other day and I tried to run it out of hot water. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, it, just as long as you've got a water supply and, and uh, propane, this thing will heat water instantly as on demand as you turn the faucets on. This was our well-stocked larder with all these shelves in here. We had we used to carry this full of food. Hmm. And, uh, but then we moved a cot in here for Bill to, to so he could sleep in the house with the was the captain. You know, that well, yeah. That's great. But anyway, so we're a little skimpy on groceries right now, but well, end we're of season. still eating great out here anyway. Anyhow, this made a nice mudroom place to hang our wet gear out here. And uh, when we come in off the beach, we've got a place to let things hang and dry out. And then here's the, opens up into the the kitchen into the kitchen and the dining room dining room living room, room. All right, we have tv get good reception one channel <laughs> and we have a refrigerator all the conveniences of home conveniences uh, even a bread machine over there and uh, <laughs> propane uh, a gas stove heater in the Diesel corner fuel heater over in that corner and and then a little deep freeze in the bedroom. <clears throat> to freeze all the fish. In here. Uh, <laughs> this so is great. You come back around here. I've got another hole in the original cabin. Right here, made a door here. So we're back inside the original. Oh, back cabin. inside the original this cabin. Is, this is a master bedroom. We wanted a deep freeze, so we stuck it in this corner and I raised the. Uh, the close the rack way up high so that we could have this underneath our have a deep freeze deep freeze underneath our uh, stuff hanging in there another row of uh, stuff to hang warm clothes on also and that's pegs stuff there and your net curtain and a net curtain there and then another <laughs> and then even back in this corner uh, we didn't waste any space kind of like a motor home in a way we built uh, another rack of shelves here oh yes and, and, and then up there the this storage is our, this is like uh, this is one of the handiest things that we've got here Peg came up with this idea and if, if we want socks we take this box down oh and it's full of socks and it's full of socks <laughs> perfect and if we want uh, undies pull that box down that's my underwear this is Peg's stuff yeah. <laughs> uh, and more clothing over here. Undies. So, so anyway, yeah, it really makes a handy way to, to, to get Oh, with a handle on the bottom? Yeah, to get to your, oh, yes. your clothes. But, so, home away from home. And, you know, here we have electricity on demand. Electricity, whenever you need it. Whenever you need Thanks it. Thanks to that 6500 yeah. kilowatt uh, generator out back. I wear my hats until they they get real nasty, and then <laughs> this isn't bad enough to burn yet. Oh, almost. <laughs> and they'll need to put it in a little better. Then they go in the burn barrel. Yeah. Here's where <laughs> I keep my fish tickets. Oh, okay. For the season. This, yeah, this is how many we've count those right there, and you'll know how many days we fished. Mm-hmm. All the weights and counts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is my. Uh, Fish tag that I can't sell my fish without this thing. Yesterday I went to the beach without it. <laughs> Had to come home. <laughs> Very embarrassed. <laughs> After giving Dave a bad time for leaving his up here. That's right. <laughs> Having to come back and get my license. Yeah. First day, no less. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the tour of the uh, mansion here. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, this is fully insulated, incidentally. All these, uh, the outside walls are all insulated. I have sheetrock on the inside, which I don't know very many cabins out here on the beach that are that have uh, inside. Fully insulated. Walls. Yeah. yeah. So helps keep out the dirt and the noise a little bit. Right. You can see what our. This is a warm day, 50 degrees. Done very seldom gets more than that, unless. 
Well, if he gets some hot sunny days, sometimes it'll get up to probably 70, but uh, hmm. not very often. And it's usually near 40 or 45. But, uh, Rubber gloves, everything you need for commercial fishing. Excuse me. Okay, we're going to the generator room here. It's noisy. I probably won't talk because you can't hear me. But the <laughs> generator's running and it's fairly noisy. It's a piece of a generator. Generating all the 110 that we need. And washing machines and dryers. bunkhouse that my brother Philip built. The only roofs that were out here that didn't leak after the building was constructed were the ones that he built. <laughs> but he had not a good carpenter, every one of mine was leaked. But uh, this has been a nice little place. It's got a loft up in here that has served many purposes. Uh, Bill Earl in a couple of summers, this is was it, where he lived is up here. This, this was his bedroom. Up in the loft. Uh, he wasn't fishing with us, but he just needed a place to live, so that's where he lived. Now we've got more wet food here, and there's, there's supplies, tools, uh, filters. Uh, Everything that's needed. And, and toolboxes and paint. Yep. Uh, all the stuff you need to survive out here. Things like our blocks that we use to run our running lines through. And then the last to see the generator house was the last wing I put on that. Before that I had this bunk house I put. This is where our this is where our guests hang out. That's where our guests. And, then, uh, and some of them don't get up. Oh, there's a guest. Some of them don't get up before noon or so. I'm up and ready. <laughs> oh yeah, right. It's a little primitive out here, but it discourages people from staying from too long. From staying too long. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. We'll continue out back. Yeah, I'm around here. This is the this is one of our favorite rooms. Yeah. Old premises. Uh, 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 a necessity. Um, we're very uh, particular about the way uh, we use this right. facility. Bill's not in here, is he? Uh, I don't think. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. We even have uh, uh, all of the uh, you know amenities like. Uh, Male yeah. <laughs> and I was telling Dave about digging the hole for this toilet. We got tired of digging a hole about every other year and, and having to move it. So I dug a seven foot deep hole here. And when I came back in the spring, the sides of the hole had caved in. The toilet was sitting down in the hole up to about like here. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. So anyhow, I got some heavy rope like this stuff here. And wrapped around it and tied it onto the truck and I pulled it back up out of the hole and I found planks to put around it. So it's setting the hole and so it turned into kind of a V-shaped hole. is about twice as wide as the toilet was at the top. So <laughs> I had to put planks under it to, to support it. So if, if you walk around here and look down through the cracks, you're actually looking down into the hole. Yeah. So it's kind of suspended in midair. Oh, this is great, Steve. And then all this stuff back here, these are totes, fish totes that the fish company supplies the people for for they can throw the fish in, but we have to haul it to the onshore buying stations, but we don't have any onshore buying stations anymore. Any uh, permanent ones anyway, so anyhow I kept some of the totes and used them for storage of my nets and stuff. Yeah. This has sure been an experience out here. This is our neighbors in this beautiful house next door to us. We're quite proud of it. 
<laughs> Protestant Steve. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so these people share the generator with us. Uh-huh. By furnishing some of the fuel and if they, they're also the fish buyers, that's why they have the American flag up there to attract people to their location. And mm -hmm. right below it, you can't see it real well, but it's a kind of a semblance of a Canadian flag because the company that owns this is uh, I guess is based in Canada. Oh, okay. Now well, this should be an experience, Steve. Well, sure, thank you for the invite up here. Hey, welcome. Oh, over here we have our. This is where all the water goes out of the system into a hole on this board. I covered it up. With, uh, so don't walk on it. So don't walk on it. <laughs> now you tell us. I was afraid. Yeah. I thought that was the path to the outhouse. I was afraid the bear was going to fall through this thing. <laughs> so I'm racing up to get underneath. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much, Steve. Got you.